Welcome back. You're watching and listening to Breakfast with Stephen and Ellie. Now, the Defence Secretary claims the army has become infiltrated by a woke and extremist culture and needs a proper shake-up to get forces ready for battle. Well, this comes after it was reported that the army were looking at relaxing security checks in order to boost diversity quotas. So, do we think the military has fallen uh, or not? Let's uh, talk to a former MEP, campaigner and uh, political commentator, Belinda De Lucy, and Young Voices UK political commentator... Alex Petropoulos, good to see you both this morning. Belinda, what's going on in your view? Well, um, I believe the problem started when the armed forces decided to outsource their recruitment process to non-military. And, you know, there's no better recruiter of, of soldiers and sailors and Air Force than satisfied armed forces personnel. And instead, they outsourced it to non-military uh, people who don't understand what the military needs, who are far more easily infected with this diversity at all costs uh, sort of mantra. Um, and that's been happening over a course of decades. And really, I think they should look into uh, recruiting by um, armed forces again and stop this constant outsourcing to, to this non-military personnel. I also think but it, it, the advertising isn't, isn't good enough anymore. It's focusing on what divides us. And this is what a lot of the identity politics and woke ideology focuses on, its differences and pitting groups against each other, depending on the sort of victim hierarchy. And often, more often than not, it is always the white male that gets sort of attacked for being too much in the majority. majority. I mean, the narrative in this country is pretty awful at the moment. You, you get away with comments like terribly white balcony or male pale and stale and, and this constant negative rhetoric around white people infecting the army is, is disastrous. And, and most people who want to join the fight are not in love with woke ideology. So it, it, it does put people off from joining. But I would also say recruitment is an okay. issue at the moment. You know, because let's, because let's, we're not at war, so there are that, other get, factors. Let's let Alex have a word. Yeah, you know, I'd, I'd have to really disagree with, with what you're saying there. I think that you, you say, you know, this wokeness is dividing and is keeping people out of the military, but in fact, I think it's designed to do exactly the opposite. Diversity and inclusion is designed to let as many people as possible into the military. And I think we have to remember that Wars aren't won on machismo and on manliness. They're won on unity, and they're won by having an armed forces where every me service member isn't thinking about, am I accepted? Uh, uh, do my fellow service members think different, uh, differently of me because of my personal preferences? All of that is thrown out the window, and they just perform as one unit together unitedly. In order to achieve that, we need an armed forces that is accepting, that is sort of diverse, and wokeness is the thing that gets us further towards that. Belinda, do you think there is a benefit of our armed forces reflecting the UK population, that all people come together to, to fight for one cause? Well, I mean, that would be great if I felt that national unity, national pride and patriotism was a big part of our education system, of our public sector. But since 2016, things like patriotism and feeling pride in your country has taken a massive hammering um, because the, the side that lost saw patriotism as one of the reasons, you know, the Brexit happened. And so there has been, I believe, uh, a, a, an attack on people who feel patriotic about their country and has has divided us. And I would say this thing, absolutely machismo uh, and courage and bravery it, it, are essential to the front line. I don't want the front line reflecting wider society. You know, women are 51% of the population. And the truth is, is that the majority of women cannot compete physically with, with the majority of the best of men, even though there are some brilliant warrior, amazing women soldiers and sailors. Um, you know, we have to look at lean, mean fighting machines, Rambo types, and start championing masculinity again, which does take up a huge part of our armed forces and promote it in schools and, and, and respect the courage and bravery it takes for a lot of those on the front line, instead of saying, actually, let's just be nice and kind and, and hashtag sweet. And look where inclusivity has led women's rights 
you know, wokeism has almost destroyed single sex spaces for, for women on the basis of we must be inclusive. And I don't see any black, brown, white women or, or any minority people being at a disadvantage. We all have equal opportunities. And I think it's quite an insult to us saying we need white men to step aside for us to succeed. I'm not going to teach my daughters that, you know, I think the military has to focus on okay. uh, what you, unity and not divisiveness, which is wokeism. OK, Alex. Yeah. So again, I think I completely disagree. And I think that unity is actually what wokeism brings about. But I, I'd like to paint a picture and look at what I describe as the least woke military in the world which is Russia's military. They have these all these macho ads showing the Russian military. They're so manly, they're not woke whatsoever. And what happened when they tried to invade Ukraine, when they tried to invade a country that was smaller, weaker, with fewer manpower, fewer resources, they failed miserably, right? And they failed because they, Ukraine was supported by woke militaries like the US, like the UK. At the end of the day, it's not this manliness that wins you wars. It's these sophisticated, unitary, these all-inclusive militaries that are, yes, woke, and that works for them. And that means that they can operate in an environment where people don't have to worry about their gender, people don't have to worry about their sexuality, people don't have to worry about what race am I if I'm applying to the armed forces. Wokeism makes our military better, stronger, more powerful, and that's why we're beating Russia in Ukraine. That's why Ukraine is winning against Russia. Well, I'm afraid we are out of time. Belinda Lucy and Alex Petropoulos, really good to hear from you this morning. Thank you very much indeed. Let us know what you